So we all know at the moment in the NHS, demand continues to rise, our resource is reducing. We have to think more smartly about how we bridge that gap between the resource available to us and the demand that is out there. It's essential that we design services around people's needs, whether that's patients or staff. We're at a really interesting time in terms of digital transformation. We're on the cusp of this whole revolution around technological advances. There's an opportunity, we have to prepare for it. The prize is really significant. The programme is delivered by IJHI, the Institute of Global Health Innovation at Imperial College London. And IJHI is one of Imperial's seven global challenge institutions, which is tasked with uh, tackling the challenges of the future. The programme is really important. I mean, we see it as part of a wider raising of professional awareness. It was established because we need leaders in digital healthcare that can work right across the system and have an understanding of what we're trying to achieve in the NHS. This programme is really to build that cadre of leaders that we need for the future. We hear time and again, there is no capacity to take a step back. The services are running 100% at 100% of the time. And so this program offers people executive sponsorship to take a minute and reflect and put those changes into practice. And one of the big strengths of the course is the peer community, the peer network that you develop. One thing that is really special about this programme uh, is that we've now seen six cohorts go through this journey together uh, and the growing group of uh, alumni working in this digital space within the NHS is a really powerful network. And I think what's really important here is that uh, whatever we do on this programme is always about the people. It's the people that need to be driving the digital change and it's the people that need to be understanding the systems uh, and how those changes need to be delivered. I work a lot in data and AI and that's something that's reflected a lot in the programme. And the reason that that's really important is that data is becoming part of the infrastructure for the future of healthcare and incredibly important to this programme to make sure that these leaders understand how to architect data, how to make AI safe and how to deliver those future models of care using data and AI. My experience of the programme was so positive. What it really did for me was to change the trajectory of my career. Having the background of this course really helped to cement my decision to go in a digital direction. To deliver what I think is a really compelling offer to my own organisation. Our approach to digital literacy within my current organisation that has got a direct feed from some of the learning that the candidates had in this programme. I think it's really incumbent on digital leaders now to first of all realise that there's still a bit of a way to go to train our workforce to use these technologies. Taking a step back and seeing where the technology aligns in your system and then making sure that the people are appropriately trained to use them and that includes patients as well, then we should be able to move forward in translating a lot of the exciting things we have coming in the pipeline into the wider systems. We were always really purposeful from the very beginning of the Digital Academy, now the Digital Health Leadership Program, to create this professional home for people. You have IT professionals coming together with people from medical backgrounds in this new digital profession. It's a place for people to come together and feel like there is place for them in the system. It shows not only possibility for progression, but it also helps them band together to actually create change. It's an absolutely essential piece of the infrastructure of this system. If our mission is to put digital data and technology at the heart of transforming the NHS and we're being backed with significant investment, there's a real opportunity, there's a tipping point ahead of us. That's why programmes like this are so important. Digital transformation is the future for the NHS, it's the thing that's going to save the NHS. Digital transformation is inevitable, it is the future, it is coming. You should absolutely think about joining the programme. It's hands down the best learning experience that I've had. So I would advise everyone and anyone to take control and define your own role of what that transformation will look like. Imperial is ideally positioned because it integrates all the expertise from the different departments. It provides you an internationally recognised qualification. That's the key thing about studying at Imperial. It can bring in talent from every sector and it can bring in some of the world leading thinkers to actually allow our talent to develop within the NHS. Imperial is an amazing place to be exposed to the digital transformation strategies of the future. So for me, there's no better place.